It's first night to a developing story. Six Australian mining executives are on board a plane that's missing in Africa. The plane carrying 10 people in total was chartered by the West Australian-based iron ore company Sundance Resources. It was due to arrive in the Congo last night from Cameroon. One of the passengers is reported to be the mining magnate Ken Talbot, who was due to face corruption charges in Brisbane. More from reporter Jane Norman. The chartered plane lost contact shortly after takeoff from the West African city of Yaounde, bound for Congo. The six executives from the Perth-based miner Sundance Resources were in Africa to visit the company's iron ore projects. The flight was a, of short duration, about an hour's duration, uh, which is why, uh, of course, uh, we are, as is the company and family members, very concerned about their safety and well-being. West Africa is renowned for its dense jungles and rugged terrain. Authorities have launched a full-scale search for the missing men. An Australian Government High Commissioner is in Cameroon to assist the company and two more officers are on their way. Uh, we'll await uh, the outcome of the search. Uh, in the meantime, we continue to give uh, contral assistance to the company uh, and to the family members. Believed to be on board the plane was mining chief Ken Talbot, one of Australia's richest men who's also facing corruption charges. Mr Talbot was accused of making secret payments to former Queensland Minister Gordon Nuttall. Also understood to be missing is Sundance Resources CEO Don Lewis, Independent Director Craig Oliver, Non-Executive Director John Jones and Non-Executive Chairman Jeff Wedlock. Jane Norman, ABC News, Perth.